So, turns out, one of Zelensky's bodyguards has been caught wearing a Nazi patch on his uniform. Um, so, the Grey Zone reports. On September 13th, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky made a surprise trip to the city of Izum in the Kharkov region for a photo op following his military's recapture of the town from Russian forces. During the visit, a soldier who appeared to be guarding Zelensky was photographed wearing a Nazi-inspired patch on his uniform. Social media users quickly identified the symbol. It was derived from the Totenkopf, German for death's head, an insignia widely used in Nazi Germany. Badges incorporating the skull and bones motif were popularized by Germany's death head units, whose original task was to serve its guards in car at concentration camps. Oh boy. So to give you a sense of what the pat Nazi patch looks like, um, here's a photo of it. You, you can see it that, that uh, the guy behind it is wearing the Nazi patch. If you if we zoom in, uh, he, here's what it looks like. Now, certain people, certain people thought that. So people were arguing that th this is photoshopped, it's not real. But the fact of the matter is, the, the, Ukra the official Ukrainian government, they had that posted on their website, and once people noticed it, they deleted it from its Facebook account and, and their Telegram account. So they must know that they're guilty if they're doing that. understand that this war that America is involved in in Ukraine is not about liberating the Ukrainian people. We, we've already known for a while that Ukraine, the Ukrainian government is in bed with Azov Battalion neo-Nazis. They want you to think that you have to support the war in Ukraine or else you support Putin. They want you to think that Questioning the motives of the war in Ukraine, the military-industrial complex, the FBI, the CIA, makes you a right-wing Putin supporter. They want you to think that real leftists like Jimmy Dore and Jackson Henkel are right-wingers for questioning the war in Ukraine. They want to smear Jimmy Dore and Jackson Henkel and make you think that their audiences are a bunch of, or consist of a bunch of neo-Nazis. They want to smear hard-working Americans as being a bunch of neo-Nazis. When in fact, it's people like Zelensky, people like Joe Biden, people like, and political commentators who support them, people like the Young Turks, people like Kyle Kalinske, people like Vosh, who are the real ones in bed with the neo-Nazis. They are funded, they're funded by the Democratic Party, the Deep State, NATO, the FBI, the CIA, and George Soros to keep you ignorant about the truth of what is going on in Ukraine. Well, it's hard for time for hardworking people, people, workers in America and around the world to take a stand against these Azov elites. There you have it.